Welcome back, everyone. Olympic gold medalist Shannon Miller made a huge impact on the sport of gymnastics when she was part of the USA's team. Magnificent Seven. <laughs> Today, she's, she's a mom mm -hmm. and is making a huge impact on women's health issues. In fact, she's an ovarian cancer survivor. We recently spoke with her about her battle, about how she's doing today, and, of course, where you can go to find very important information. Good Health is sponsored by Sullivan County Community Hospital. You know, if you think about it, if we don't have our health, we just don't have anything. All those things that we want to do and be each day, we have to have our health. And um, one of my focuses is as an advocate for women's health, um, even long before my diagnosis. Because what I realized, um, especially when I had my first child, was that if I wasn't healthy, um, as guilty as it might make me feel to put my health at the top of the list, if I wasn't healthy, I couldn't be here for him and for all of the people that depend on me. So it's really important that we understand that we can be our own best health advocates. We can listen to our bodies. We can speak up when things don't feel right, and we can make our health a priority. Now, ovarian cancer is something for you, obviously, that's front and center because you're a survivor. How many years has it been, and are you still doing well? I think people are really surprised to find out that I'm an ovarian cancer sur a survivor, um, but I just celebrated seven years cancer-free and, um, and, and doing well, <laughs> knock on wood. But um, I was very fortunate, and I look back at my diagnosis, and things could have been very different very easily. I had actually called up to cancel my exam and ended up feeling really guilty about that and took the first available, which was that morning. And it was that morning that my doctor found a baseball-sized mass on my left ovary. And to think if I would have waited, if I would have canceled and postponed my, my appointment, it could have been a very different outcome. In fact, with ovarian cancer, um, many of the diagnoses are at later stages because there isn't a specific test for ovarian cancer. You rely on some of these signs and symptoms and, and other um, general testing, but if we don't pay attention to the signs and symptoms, um, I look back and I think I had bloating, I had stomach pains, I had sudden weight loss, and I chalked each of those up to common female issues or nothing too serious. And I don't want other women to leave their health up to luck. You know, I, I think that you saying all of that makes us realize how important it is to get those annual exams and how important it is just to listen to our bodies because I think as women sometimes we put ourselves exactly. last. We, we worry about everybody else's health in the house and we worry about everything else we have to do. But as a survivor, what do you say to women out there living with ovarian cancer? And, and you clearly are an inspiration. Well, thank you. Um, you know, I think the best advice I can give is to keep fighting. Keep fighting each and every day and utilize the resources that are available. And that's one of the reasons why I joined with Tesaro to share my story, but also to spread the word about the Our Way Forward program. And this is an incredible program that is designed as a call to action to help um, patients and their caregivers and healthcare providers really change the conversation, change the way we talk about ovarian cancer and help th women through through both the physical and the emotional toll that an ovarian cancer diagnosis can take. Well, we appreciate you talking about this important subject, but Hazel Marie and I would both be lying if we didn't say, we're dying to know, can you still like, you know, <laughs> throw, throw a backflip, <laughs> round off back handspring? I mean, you know, it's the truth be known, we're both like, can come she on, still on, can do she, all she those it? great moves? <laughs>